Since the age of two, Maria had accompanied her mother to the witch doctor to obtain a blessing for the family business in Guinea. The visits were part of life, and the blessings seemed to work. Her mother became rich. Maria owned a house in a gated compound, two cars, and a big store selling stylish clothing and handbags in Guinea's capital, Conakry. At the age of 24, Maria was caught by surprise by a witch doctor. He asked her to offer a human sacrifice, an albino, if she wants to become rich. Maria had brought cows before to the witch doctor to sacrifice but never a human being. The thought of a human sacrifice, deeply disturbed her. Maria could not sleep. In her dreams, she was visited by a small child who told her, not to obey the witch doctor. The child said that the solution for her was our Father and our Savior Jesus Christ. When she awoke, she was puzzled because she wasn't a Christian. She belonged to another major world religion. She told her mother about the three nights of dreams. She asked her why they do have to make a human sacrifice. Her mother didn't like the dreams either. She told Maria to buy a cow for a sacrifice. Maria obeyed. By the end of the week, Maria was exhausted from the nightly dreams and decided to go shopping. On Saturday morning, she drove her car to the compound gate and stopped for it to be opened. As she waited, a small girl darted into the compound and approached the car window. The small girl told Maria, Do you want to go to church? I am not a Christian. Maria replied. She wondered if the small girl was not lost. The little girl insisted. I want to go to church. Maria decided to help the girl find the church. She got out of the car. After a short walk, Maria and small girl reached the gated headquarters of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Guinea. A woman at the church asked Maria whether she could be of assistance. Maria replied, this little girl asked me to come here. But the girl was nowhere in sight. Maria looked out the gate. She looked back into the compound. No girl. Suddenly Maria felt a strong desire to tell the woman about her dreams and how she sacrificed a cow. Wait for me, the woman said. My husband is a pastor. I will ask him for help. And that is how Maria, a non-Christian in a country where many people are hostile to Christianity, learned about Jesus. Today she is a Christian who loves Jesus with all her heart. Maria said, my conversion to Christianity is a miracle. No one came to me with the Bible, and I didn't read any Christian books. It was a call from God. Maria never saw the girl again. She is convinced that the girl was an angel.